Hello guys, uh, today I'm going to be showing you how to add, subtract, multiply and divide uh, on C++ program. Alright, so uh, there are so many applications you could use to write your C++ programs, uh, but I'm using dev. Right? Yeah, they are like that so much. But there are two bonds, there are Visual Studios. Uh, you can actually use those uh, particular uh, applications to actually write your 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 C plus plus program. But the dev, I think the dev is fantastic. I think uh, you will like it, maybe. You know, but everybody has some choice. But if you're new, I uh, recommend you go for the dev. Okay. Uh, uh the newest version is a uh, five point uh, uh, eleven. It's downloaded. You can check online and Google it in probably. Uh, download is about for something MB or the other. Okay, so uh, we're going straight to our C++ uh, uh, application. Um, I have my dev already installed. Okay, so I'm using Windows Windows 10. Okay, so you come here and uh, recently added. Okay, so it's here, or you could just search for it dev. Uh, open uh, and then so we are just going for the source file. Or the project is where you want to design your console, your data bar, but we're just going for just the source file because we, we know what we want. We just want to add, we just want a, 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 an application that can be able to add numbers, subtract numbers, multiply numbers, and divide numbers. Okay, so uh, you can come here. Yeah, it's a new, and yes, for your project, you're open, and you just come to file new or control plus n, the case may be, but I'm just taking a long process just so that you can see it. So you come to your new source file. So it's come to plus n and you click OK. Uh, you have this, okay? Uh, on in on installing your C dev C++, your interface may not be like this. To actually have a nice interface, you just want to have it more style. You can come to your tools, your editors options, and you have your colors. You can add the colors uh, of the interface of the any way you like. Um, think at the font of your choice I'm using consular and there but okay just just felt you should know that okay um so the first thing we're going to do is uh we want to add numbers okay this is uh the super uh, this is the interface where we can write our C++ programming language don't forget C++ is a high level language okay so um the first thing we do we're going to what include you know your Java you're gonna import okay We'll have a bit uh, in Java, then you see how it's done. Okay, in your C++, you include right, you could want to include a particular library we're going to use. And uh, the first library we're going to include is uh, I think one of the commons we use here is um, uh, include IO stream, which is your input and output stream in charge of your inputs and output. Okay. Uh, I think that's pretty much the library we're going to use because it's just a simple program. Then we come to the next one, which is using namespace std. Okay, std. Now using namespace standard is to make your your input and output standard. Okay, if without the you, without using name, using namespace standard, you have to put your std dot 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 right. Uh, you have to uh, uh, let me go to my notepad and show you that. You're going to do std uh, something dot dot uh, c out or there about right for you to actually put and, and it's most of the time it takes time to actually do that so uh, to um, eradicate such problem we we use the using this bit std to show that the c, the c out and the c in are what we call standard okay should, uh, standard yeah yeah standard okay so uh that's pretty much it okay uh, so uh come here to say okay int main right uh, the main, we need int right uh, void means it's not going to have a uh, it, it it will come empty so but we need it to return something so we come here and we do this right now we're going to declare this is a stage for declare we're going to declare our variables we have our int uh, we have our uh, let's say a parameter because we're requesting for three numbers a we have b we have c uh, we're gonna have some yeah some let's just make it a uh, small little okay we're gonna have uh, some we're gonna have sub that's for your subtraction we're gonna have mod for your multiplication and we're gonna have div 
right for your division so the next thing we go there is um see out now we just want to say okay uh telling uh the program or the user that with uh, a kind of output message right say okay this program is and uh, arithmetic arithmetic program is arithmetic okay this, this program is arithmetic it means you can add you can solve you can multiply you can divide right this program is arithmetic uh, okay this program is for okay let's see for your okay let's see addition subtraction subtraction multiplication and division numbers right numbers of uh, three numbers let's because we're making it uh, very clear let's make it uh, three numbers okay that's uh, pretty much it and uh, we do that right we do that thing now the the, the function of end line is to okay uh, this program is ended this particular thing is ended on the line is on a particular line and we are ending it so that the next program or the next set of codes begins in a new line so when you give another end line you're giving another space okay so we have one space two space then next the next the next line set of uh, 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 line of code begins okay so let's give two just give two all right you come here to say okay see out uh, enter your first number we want this to end the particular line of you see in which your see out is for your output your see in is for your input which the user is going to impute something right uh, let's say a we could have declared a so whatever the, the the user input of the first number is taken as a okay the next one okay see out enter your second number uh, the same principle using B okay uh, and the last one see out enter your third number in line okay that's pretty much it so we've requested the user to put the first number the second number and of course now the third uh, number okay so where the sum and sub mod comes in here then you put you write your program sum is equals to sum is equals to a plus b sorry a plus b plus c uh, sub which is subtraction subtraction is a minus b minus c sorry and your multiplication which is a mod is for uh for a times b times c and your div is a 
divide B divide C okay so we have done our sum, sub, mod and our divide write the programs so the next thing is for us to appute it and how do we how do we output the result of the user's uh, input uh, if you put five or put this how do the user see the result this is the program for it uh, sum sum which is sum this it's most telling with this uh, it, it's uh, to high level language are always case sensitive so if you're using the small letter of the sum uh, s it's going to be the same thing because you're calling this okay so you have uh, that okay we can copy this set of code uh, could copy it and i'm holding my shift and my l or my shift my L to do that just to copy you can write it down you could write it or you could just just to save time uh, come here paste it come here paste it come here paste it okay so uh, uh here we have a uh, sorry uh that was control z here we have sub sub and we have sub uh, sub here sorry so here we have mod sorry here we have div here we have div this is not affected this is the main thing here is just for output uh, text purposes for text purposes then you have your mod okay you have your mod you have your mod okay uh before we save uh, let's not forget to return our o let's return the way it is okay so uh we can save this program you have to save before you can execute uh i think i have a folder already my cpp work and uh, let's save this uh arithmetic work anything anything for okay so we're done so we we come here to the main call execute and you see rebuild or the function of rebuild or f2f is to rebuild the whole program from the scratch and to see if there's any uh if there's any good if there's going to be any error at all at one time so at one time uh there seems to be one and which is uh, uh i said uh expected power uh, took it before this okay this is the error so what to move that and uh, we should be good to go we come here and we say execute we build all see compilation time is this the output time errors there are no errors so the program is good to go you have to check this this, one, this is the compilation result so if that's done we'll come here to f11 which is to compile and run to compile the program now and you run you compile the program in one and uh you have this okay before that uh, we just want our work to be very neat as possible right we just want to do that so i'm going to do the c c out uh right end line i just want to differentiate our work give space we use the end line mainly to give space we just want this one to come out in a new set of line two lines before you have the output okay so we have this and you come to f11 which is compiler one you come here enter your first number let's say first number is uh the end number 12 second number is uh n number let's say uh 17 uh 20 